Are you stressed out about syllable stress? Let's learn five easy rules to improve your English pronunciation. As you know, syllable stress is what gives English the musical sound that it has. If you don't know this, go watch our video about it. For everyone else, let's dive into those five rules about syllable stress. Our first rule is about two syllable nouns. Let's listen to some example words and I want you to guess what the stress pattern is. Jacket, winter, human, money. If you guessed that the stress is on the first syllable, you're right. In fact, 90% of two-syllable nouns have the stress on the first syllable. Let's look at four more examples. Apple, dinner, student, and college. Okay, so what about those other 10%? Here's a beautiful list of two-syllable nouns with stress on the second syllable. Our second rule is about words that end in shun, shun, and shun. Let's listen to a few of these words and I want you again to guess the pattern from what you hear. Electrician, precision, radiation, motivation. Did you hear it? If you guess that the emphasis is on the syllable right before shun, shun, or shun, you're right. Four more example words are musician, emission, imitation, transition. Rule number three is for words that end with ick and ickle. Listen to these words and guess the pattern. Electric, problematic, methodical, heretical. Did you hear the pattern? It's like rule number two, isn't it? The emphasis goes on the syllable right before the ick or ickle ending. A few more example words. Mathematics, mathematical, systemic, political. Our fourth rule is about two syllable words that can be nouns or verbs. Let me give you some examples and you guess the pattern. Record, record. Insult, insult. I think you probably guessed this one. The nouns have emphasis on the first syllable and the verbs have emphasis on the second syllable. Four more example words are increase, increase, present, present. Our last rule for today is about compound nouns. Let me give you four examples and try to figure out what's happening. Schoolboy, treehouse, playground, blackboard. I think that one was pretty easy to hear. So with compound nouns, regardless of the number of syllables, the emphasis goes on the very first syllable. Four more examples are notebook, backpack, thunderstorm, database. Notice that the last two had three syllables, but they still had emphasis on the first syllable. That is all of our rules. How many rules were you able to guess? Comment below if you got a perfect. Have you heard of any other rules? Comment below and enlighten us. And I've got a challenge for you. Can anyone guess which syllable in this word the stress is on? The word is anti-disestablishmentarianism. Anti-disestablishmentarianism. Did you hear it? Comment below. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.